To send a message to a lead or contact, you can open up their record. You can click on the send smooth message button. Be aware that it may be somewhere down this area in the button list. So you might have to click the drop down there. You can use this screen in order to send out a templated message. It will allow you to choose the phone number to send from. And then to explain these areas, if you have multiple phone numbers for that lead or contact, say if I had mobile here as well, you can see that with all possible numbers, it will pick up not just the phone, but also the mobile. What you might prefer is to just use phone and then it's only going to choose that number. The next thing is who should be notified of replies. You can either choose me if you are sending it out and you want to get notified when the other person replies, or if you are sending out on behalf of other people, then you can use owner of each record. Then you can choose between a blank message where you just type it out from scratch or a templated message. To edit templates, you'll go in here and click edit. To add a new one, you click add. When you create templates, you can add merge fields. Press the hash or pound key and then start typing the field that you want to include. Then when you've got the message ready, you can choose to either send now or send later. If you choose send later, then it will use the time zone of the other person. For example, if I choose 12 p.m. and the other person is in Eastern Standard Time, it's going to send it at 12 p.m. EST. Whereas if, it, if their phone number happened to be in California, then it would use Pacific Time instead. So you can be confident that whatever your time, whatever time you choose here, that it is going to be appropriate for the other person based on their phone number. So if we click send later, that will schedule it to be sent. The other area where you can send a message is if you go down to Smooth Messenger. In this area, you can send it out. You can send out a manual message. If you want to include emojis, you can do that. If you need to change the number that it is sent to, you have the option here to change. So I could send it to the mobile number instead. And if you would like to, also if you have multiple sender IDs, you can change it there. And then you can also lock in that number because otherwise what will happen is that it will automatically use the same number that the person has last corresponded with, which normally is the right thing to do. But if you have multiple people in the CRM and you want to change, you want to make sure that your particular user always sends out from a certain number, then you can lock it in like that. To send, just hit the send button. And you'll see there will be a tick icon when it has been sent successfully.